Let's bring in the country's central bank governor, Nivar Cabral, joins us from Washington, D.C. Mr. Cabral, thank you so much for making time for us. Hopefully you're enjoying uh, your time spent in Washington so far. But let's focus in on uh, what's taking place in Sri Lanka. How's the investor appetite so far for uh, Sri Lankan stocks, bonds in the U.S.? Yes, we have seen extraordinary uh, interest and appetite for Sri Lankan paper, uh, be it uh, government or the stock market. And that is a natural reaction because Sri Lanka has emerged out of the uh, crisis that it had had. And it was always a well-performing economy. So now that the, the problems have been uh, removed and over, uh, mm -hmm. many more people are looking at Sri Lanka a lot more positively. And that's uh, an indication of, uh, and it, that shows in the numbers as far as the uh, stock market is concerned. Yeah, okay, Mr. Cabral, though, a lot of uh, foreign investors though, are looking out uh, very closely for this uh, visit by the IMF to Sri Lanka this month. In fact, I think the IMF is still considering whether or not to release the third tranche of its loan to Sri Lanka, $2.6 billion worth. Um, so we're saying this is pretty much a risk, I mean, especially as uh, the IMF wants to see more fiscal discipline coming from Sri Lanka, which sounds very eerily familiar to what we're seeing and hearing from Greece these days. Actually, we have had some very, uh, very, uh, uh, we have had very positive uh, discussions with the IMF, and we don't really see too much of a risk in moving forward. Uh, we have been able to maintain the uh, targets that uh, we had agreed with the IMF, uh, particularly in March, and I believe they are satisfied with the progress that we have made. Uh, and also, the main objective of the IMF program was that we mm -hmm. would reach. Uh, uh, a figure of around three and a half billion dollars as, as reserves, but we have exceeded that uh, uh, quite a bit, and then we are now at about five and five point three to five point four billion dollars. So overall, we are very positive that IMF will see the conditions uh, in Sri Lanka as being uh, on the right track, and we are confident that uh, we will have a very good program moving forward. Yeah, okay. What makes you so sure, though, uh, Governor Cabral? Because we have the IMF, uh, well, Sri Lanka missing those IMF targets by a huge margin in 2009. And right now, it looks like uh, we're not going to see many uh, tax cuts to the country at all. So, what's going on here? Uh, not really. You see, IMF uh, was aware uh, after the uh, uh, December targets were missed as to why it was not uh, being able to be kept. And uh, the explanations that we have provided them, I think, uh, has been satisfactory for them. Uh, if you look at the way we have performed as far as the IMF uh, program is concerned, the September targets were met uh, in total. In uh, December, also the reserve targets as well as the reserve money targets were kept, and it was only the fiscal target that was not maintained. Uh, mm -hmm. In March, all three targets, the reserve money uh, as well as the targets for the uh, reserves and the fiscal targets were all uh, achieved properly. So I don't think they really feel that uh, we will have any risk about moving forward. And the discussion that we've had so far have also indicated that it will be a positive uh, reaction uh, once we have cleared the uh, uh, review yeah. uh, which is now taking place. Yeah, Mr. Cabral, the uh, ratings agencies are really closely watching this because they only raise Sri Lanka's creditworthiness after uh, Sri Lanka got this loan from the IMF. So they are hoping that the IMF will release this third tranche. You know that, right? Actually, the movement upwards in Sri Lanka's economy took place even before the IMF um, uh, program came into effect, and that was very clearly known by everyone. And uh, we have already gone well past the targets that we had originally thought we will achieve by 2011. That was $3.5 billion uh, as the reserve. So uh, now, even though uh, we have opted to continue with the program. We have exceeded the target by a comfortable margin as far as our reserves are concerned and therefore the objective, the main objective of the IMF program has been very clearly achieved. So we don't see a risk uh, as far as the rating is concerned and all the investors who have uh, been uh, who have been uh, looking at Sri Lanka as well as investing in Sri Lanka have been quite comfortable with the progress that has been made uh, already. Uh, Mr. Cabral, Paul Gordon here. Uh, in terms of that inward investment, uh, the uh, government says it's looking for a billion dollars this year. Now, you're not yourself in charge of going out and winning that business, but it does affect your planning. Do you think Sri Lanka is going to hit that? 
Actually, the uh, intention would be to look at the best option as far as uh, financing is concerned. Sri Lanka now, as you know, has uh, been able to uh, develop several options for financing uh, as it goes into the future. Uh, we will be looking at the budget which is going to be presented uh, somewhere around about July. And thereafter, we will see uh, how much money we need and uh, what uh, uh, tranches we would need and based on that decision we will be taking a call as to which type of uh, instrument we will use to raise further funds. Uh, we are confident that mm -hmm. uh, any one of the instruments that we have at uh, our hands now will be able to achieve uh, the financing that is required for the budget and in going forward. Yeah, but uh, in terms of foreign direct investment, are you finding investors falling over themselves to get into the country right now? Yes, absolutely. We have seen interest being shown by uh, investors from all parts of the world and that has been very encouraging. And we have also seen uh, the investors um, having different appetites for different types of projects, particularly for infrastructure, tourism, uh, transportation, as well as uh, port development and the ancillary services, which uh, we believe will uh, culminate in uh, fairly substantial investments in the next few months and years to come. Okay, one more question for you, Governor Cabral. It's Susan here once again. Let me just ask you about inflation because uh, before we've seen Sri Lanka experiencing inflation in 28% range or so in 2008. Now you've brought that down to single digits, but uh, what about raising rates? It looks like uh, Sri Lanka might be pushed to do that this year. Uh, do you see that happening? Uh, well, it's too early to tell because we have seen inflation moderating over the past three months and that has been encouraging. Uh, we have deliberately kept our rates at uh, slightly higher rates than our peer countries and that was to ensure that we do not have the risk of inflation coming up once again. We are confident that the measures that we have taken as well as the fairly tight policy that we have uh, engaged in notwithstanding the fact that inflation has been down, uh, has been good for us and uh, the expectations as far as inflation is also concerned has been contained. So we believe that uh, right now our uh, policy would stay, uh, but as I said earlier, we would be watching very closely to see whether there is any uh, movement upwards in which event we will be quick to move forward and uh, arrest any situation which can otherwise uh, disturb our okay. very uh, benign macroeconomic fundamentals. All right. Thank you for that. And Nevar Cabral, Sri Lanka Central thank Bank you. Governor, joining us there from Washington, D.C.